Secure the objectives. Hello everybody, this is Jeb X Warrior coming at you guys with some new before the gameplay commentary. I currently go 44 no 42 and 4 in this match. If you were wondering about this match and this peacekeeper, this is an interesting peacekeeper and this first topic I'm gonna talk about is the fact this peacekeeper, I'm running this peacekeeper and it has no attachments at all. See if you look down there at the right hand corner, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it that well or not, but it does say peacekeeper and it doesn't say peacekeeper customized which most weapons say when you have a attachment on your weapon this is no attachments I already have the gun diamond this was just for fun because people said the peacekeeper was um, had been buffed and so I was using it this is how I test out buffed weapons when I hear that weapons have been buffed now here's another thing I wanted to talk to you guys look at that fifth hit fire accuracy for one that was some, that was that was awesome let's go boys let's go anyways um what we do, what I do want to talk about is a couple things that are happening in Ghost, and I want you to know that this is a good spot for you to hear what's going on in Ghost because I have had my copy pre-ordered for about uh, four or five months now, fully pre-ordered. I'm going to be picking it up the night I will be play playing at 12:30 midnight on November 5th. So check it out, guys. Also, I just wanted to go ahead and cover a couple things. Um, first of all, uh, I heard a lot of people complain about. Domination in Black Ops 1. I mean, Black Ops 2. I'm sorry, I apologize. Uh, Black Ops 2. They don't like it being round based, and I hear this a lot, and a lot of people don't like it. And I'm sorry if you do like it, because personally, I like it. But it is confirmed that in Call of Duty Ghost, uh, Infinity Wars, Candace Capen, or Capen, uh, has, confirmed, has confirmed that domination in Ghost. And you know, the reason why I'm not going to correct, I'm not going to redo this video is because I've already tried it like three different times, so I'm just going to go ahead and go with it. I'm sorry if I get tongue tied. Tongue tied. I said tied. Anyways, um, Infinity Wars can escape and has confirmed that domination in Ghost will be similar to Modern Warfare 3, not round based like Black Ops 2. So that's a, that's a big thing. Uh, I, I think. I think many fans did have complaints about the Black Ops 2 styles. The round based system caused the game to feel fragmented and much longer than it should last. Modern Warfare 3 styles, how it always was. You play straight to 200 points or before time runs out. So, uh, we, we, we won't get that little breather in the middle. That's what I thought that was. Look at this guy. He just laid down and couldn't hit me. I, I should have died there. Uh, I choke. I actually choke a nuclear in this match. It made, it made me so mad last night. I just stopped playing last night because it made me so mad. It was, I was so frustrated. Um, it was just, it was just, it was just frustrating. That's it. That's all it was. It was really, it was really frustrating. Did I get it? Um, I'm also gonna bring you guys uh, uh, in some more information on Call of Duty Ghost, and I, I basically, I, I, you know, I really don't know what to think about Call of Duty Ghost. I know for a fact that Call of Duty Ghost will be on the next Game Informer magazine cover, so there'll be a lot of information on it in there. Um, you know, GameStop says Ghost. Is gonna is on track to be the most pre-ordered game on of 2013. So it's I I really think that's awesome. I really do. I really do think that's awesome because I think I love Call of Duty. I'm a big Call of Duty fan. I've been playing Call of Duty for a while and I really enjoy it. I really love the fact that Call of Duty is getting the the what it needs to keep going. So basically what this means is that we can definitely hope for a uh, Call of Duty, another trailer game, because this Black Ops 2 was so successful. So we're hoping for another one. But another topic I wanted to touch on too and uh, about was the uh, Vince Zampella domination. He um he says Titanfall is not going to be, uh, the objectives. He, well, exactly what, in his quotes, and I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to tell you what his quotes are right about now. Vince Van Zampera says Titanfall won't sell as well as Call of Duty. Now, that's an understatement. Uh, Call of Duty's been around a lot longer than Titanfall's been around. It's its debut. You can't really expect much from a game that just came out. Uh, but, uh, and uh, I'm about to tell you exactly his quote. Um, Vincent Bella, co-founder of Respawn Entertainment, said in an interview with California's KFI AM60, the Titanfall, the upcoming title, won't sell as well as Call of Duty. Now, this is Zampao's words in depth and 
quote for quote. It's brand new, Zampella said about Titanfall. You build up momentum over the years when you put out a brand, when you put out a new brand. It's starting over, so it won't sell as well as Call of Duty. But for us, it's kind of a passion project. We love it. It's something new. It's taking the old paradigm of these shooter games being very grounded in two two dimensional and now adding this vert verticality to it and making it something that's new that's a new experience something that people haven't seen before I'm sorry I studied so much um, Zampella also confirmed in, an, in that interview that Titanfall is coming in spring 2014 to Xbox One 360 and PC for the retail price price of $60 for Titanfall news uh, you can make sure to follow them on Twitter at Titanfall blog so that's something great and as if you you know also if you didn't know about the uh, new campaign trailer for Call of Duty Ghost I'll be putting that in the description below mostly because it, it is a really awesome trailer and you find out some interesting things on the story um, another thing is is I don't know if this is rumor or speculation um, if you follow me on Twitter or if you follow me on Facebook, uh, you'll see that I did make a post that was, uh, the, the trailer leads you to believe that, uh, Simon Ghost Riley is not dead, and, but he will also not be played as in this campaign, uh, you can obviously know if you pre-order at GameStop, you will get him as a pre-order character, um, you can add all your, all of his gear to your, uh, character to make him Simon Ghost Riley, uh, and that's what you get with a pre-order offer from GameStop, you do not get that pre-order offer from Amazon.com. So if you were if if you were me, and I mean if I were you, I would pre-order from GameStop definitely. Um, but what did happen was he did say uh, in the in the trailer he uh, mentions that you know to show true love for your country. I don't know if this is quote for quote. Do not quote me on this, but he does say something along the lines of to show true love for your country. You don't just give yourself. You give. You, you don't give, just give your life, you give your sons. And after he said that, um, uh, and you can see where I just choked that, you know, that nuclear. I could have had that that game, but I choked it. Anyways, as you can see, he, he does mention his son, and, you know, I don't know exactly if that is Simon Ghost Rider or not. I don't know what's going on. Um, but... I do, under my own speculations, this is a rumor, I do think that that is Simon Ghost Riley's son and we'll be, be able to play as Simon Ghost Riley's son, which is, you know, I like that the fact they're doing that, because as you know in Black Ops 2, if you've played Black Ops 2 campaign, you do know that he, that we played as Mason's son, so, that's something to look forward to, I'll definitely be playing that campaign a lot, and I'll probably be doing a walkthrough through that campaign, um, all uh, through the whole campaign throughout the week of the release of the game also with multiplayer games coming out and links to that when that comes out um, that's pretty much all I got though for you guys um, also uh, I wanted to mention one more thing uh, before I probably let you go, I'll let you guys just finish the rest of the gameplay because I really don't have much else to talk to you guys about. I did, uh, uh, I wanted to talk about the new iOS game, uh, Call of Duty Strike Force. Check that out, guys. I, I, I enjoy it a lot. So if you, pretty much if you like Call of Duty on um, everything you can get it on, get it on that. But uh, thank you guys for watching today. I really love you guys, and if you guys could. Drop a link, a like, and a subscribe down below. That would be awesome. Thank you and goodbye. Stealth chopper awaiting orders. Spark one one, push to target area.